Oh, it feels weird to be sitting here. All right. <laughs> I don't think I've filmed in a couple weeks. I definitely haven't drawn in at least that much time. Well, I had a little doodling and I just did this just to prove to myself that I could. Because my hands are like real shaky like, so you just kind of like feel, I just feel vibrate <laughs> all over. It's more a feeling than I feel like a physical limitation. But anyway, I've had this idea for like over a month and I just haven't done it. <laughs> what I really wanted to do, and let me tell you, these were not easy to get my hands on. They're sold out everywhere. <laughs> I've been seeing them on the internet and when I saw it I was like I have this weird memory of eating one of those and yet still I don't know if I've ever actually had one it's like faux nostalgia or something but it's the little Debbie <laughs> Christmas tree cakes and I got real lucky because when I was at the store they were literally stocking them because every other time I've gone the shelves have been bare but we got our hands on some of these guys. And there's only five in there that seems, I swear these things usually have six. So I feel a little gypped, but you know, the economy changes. We gotta keep up with it. I'm okay with five. But what I wanted to do was try and design a princess character based off of these. Cause every year I kind of do like a princess Christmas character based off of a fun holiday food. And when I saw these, I was like, that looks like the one I'm doing this year. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's that mm -hmm. snag one of these. Oh yeah, I, I don't know, have I ever had one of these? They're so familiar. But here we got a good look at the colors. They're a little less saturated than the box would tell ya. So we got the white vanilla frosting. So vanilla cake, I assume. Oh, and then there's the filling down the center. You got the white, or not white, excuse me. The red swirl stripes to kind of like candy cane it or something. And then the green sprinkles. So that's what we're gonna be working with. Let me grab a sketchbook again. Let's just get them all out, cause whatever, let's decorate. Christmas! <laughs> you gotta find little ways to spark joy, you know? So, we're obviously gonna want nice, like, you know how Santa has, like, fluffy stuff? Like, I feel like we've got a lot of room for fluffy stuff. Oh, there's also that yellow vanilla cake color. We're gonna need a marker for that, probably. I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking. Let's just start with a human shape blob, and then we'll take elements from this and then, like, sprinkle them in, and then design a character. So, start with the blob. I feel like they've been drawing a lot more chibi lately. Do you wanna try and like extend the features at all? So they're more proportionate to a human? Oh, hello dog. Is that for me? You brought me a present? Thank you. It's your food. How thoughtful. Ooh, what if I made it a Christmas prince? We haven't done that. I'm gonna draw the cake here just a second. That way I can get a feel for like the shapes of it. Cause we want to incorporate different elements of it. So if I draw it, then my hand and my arm and everything, we'll get a feel for the shapes that are incorporated into it. And then I can, you know, fuse that into the character. So each one's stripes are a little different. And then you got your swirlies, but they don't go on this side edge. They're only in the front and they're very 3D because they're frosty. And sprinkles, maybe some big ones too. Oh yeah, gotta have some variety. That looks good. So we got lots of like soft corners, triangles. We got triangles. Which makes me think of like a cape or something. Hmm. I'm kind of pondering the, uh... I can't, literally can't use markers without getting them on me. I... <laughs> Impossible. Let's go princess first. And then if I decide I want to do the prince idea, we can do that too. I mean, we could do both. There's a lot of trees here, you know. Well, we haven't even finished making this like a human shape yet. It's just the vague <laughs> illusion of a human. Just kind of refine that. Mm -hmm. Maybe a face on that. Okay. And then since it's a princess gown, we obviously want like a whole lot of floof. We're not like, we're not doing a nice casual look here. Something that sounds really fun to me is something that's kind of loose and like chiffon-y, is that a word? <laughs> but like kind of tucks into like a wide waistband. And then like obviously a big flowy skirt. Maybe it's kind of a casual princess look, but you know. Obviously it's gonna be over the top here. Maybe some ruffles and things. Although that doesn't really match up with the uh, design. Although I like that like translucent stuff. So maybe we want something to be translucent. I don't know, maybe the bottom layer's more translucent or it's like a super translucent fabric, but because it's so bunched up, you can't see through it. And there's like lots of layers, but then there's areas of less layers. And it's also winter. So we're probably gonna want long sleeves. Creepy eyes. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, no thank you. Is that any better? I don't know if that is. Is that an improvement? Hey, that's a nice face. Best face I've drawn in <laughs> weeks. The only thing is, it's not really making me think of this because this is like chonky and soft. Whereas this is like thin and flowy. And I feel like those are almost opposites. So we need to give her some kind of coat, maybe on top, something. You know how like coats are that like thick, velvety, like wooly looking stuff. I feel like that matches this vibe a little better. But then we also have like the translucent back though. So it's not like super far off. But I think this ruffle is really throwing it off because there's nothing ruffly about these cakes. They're very industrial, made through a factory, chunky, blob, like blobbed out, you know what I mean? So I don't think that quite works. So we're gonna get rid of that. Oy! I don't wanna get rid of the soft flowiness, but I kind of feel like that also has the same problem. Let's change this beautiful flowy dress. Let's give her a coat because that's what, this makes me really think of a coat. But we can have this idea for the dress that's underneath. So maybe the part that sticks out is gonna be kind of transparent and maybe you'll even see a little shadow of the leg through that fabric. But then on top, we need a nice thick warm coat so she can go out and about and do her princessy duties outside of the castle. So let's just slightly erase this top half and come up with a coat. This kind of could be like a scarf. See, I'm copying that like flowy shape for the scarf. It's intentional. Could we copy the same sleeve? Like, could you do a coat with a sleeve like that? That way I still get my flowy sleeve. <laughs> and then we obviously have to have it nice and tailored because she has money for that. Or her daddy does, I don't know how royalty works. I feel like you need that like lapel stuff. Ooh, there we go, triangles, finding them. So let's actually make that look more like a tree. <laughs> it doesn't really make sense. Usually that's kind of going inwards. I'm gonna feel the work. Wait, I just gotta get it right. Let's draw the tree shape like this. Then I can add those in. But then maybe keep this triangle this way. There we go. It's a tree. It kind of looks like a tree. I can shove this scarf in there too. Eh. Maybe we'll just add like a binding. And then have like a little tie of some kind. Nice and thick. And then we'll cut that off like here maybe so you can see that coat coming out. We gotta have like big old cuffs maybe with that same tree shape. <laughs> I don't know. They look like butterflies. This is throwing me off but it's also so on um, theme that I don't know if I'm ready to move on from it. You know, we want that like super soft thing kind of sticking out the bottom. And for boots I'm thinking something kind of with a heel. With some laces. Could obviously be wearing like beautiful gloves. Need some kind of pocket. Probably soften that up. Same way as the trees. I'm gonna have to look up some jackets. Cause I want that to look really posh, you know? And if I'm just throwing pockets on there, it's gonna start looking very utilitary. And I don't think that's the vibe I want. Fancy winter coat. I don't know, wool coat, wool coat. Oh, I like that one. So there's like a pleat in the front. I feel like that looks very princessy to me. There's like a little pleat right here. Ooh, cute. That's for the sleeves. I feel like you could add like a fun seam right there. Ooh, doesn't that look expensive? And do we want some kind of hood? Well, I guess she's got the scarf, but maybe like a pocket. Well, you can't really go over the pleat. That doesn't really make sense. Do I still want this like tie on it? Maybe without it, it'll look more expensive. Okay, so if we get rid of that and add buttons, we could still have the tailored look by having this go all the way up. Then I probably would get rid of these little edges here of the like bunched up fabric because now it's gonna be more tailored if there's no tie, you know? Which I feel like that does look way more expensive. So that was the right, the right call. I feel like it does need a hood, but I'm not really gonna see it. <laughs> All right, now we definitely have to incorporate some more of this stuff in here. The stripes, I suppose we could have them be these seams. I don't want it to look too candy cane though, you know? So maybe if we keep them more thin. Yeah, that's gonna look like a candy cane. But I mean, it's not It's not wrong. I mean, I'm sure that's why it's there in the first place. And all the little sprinkles. I don't want it to look just exactly like the cake. It's supposed to be inspired by the cake. Also, we need hair. We have that like vanilla cream of the inside. Let me... Uh, I'll give you a peek ski. Oh, 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 oh. oh, look, that looks like a little bow tie. I was thinking the jacket would be white. So we could use that like vanilla cream, this color for like hair maybe, like she's blonde. Do some big old princess hair. 
th thinking of this like blobby shapes. And I'm trying to make it look warm because I don't really want to give her a hat. So I'm thinking if I give her like big fluffy hair that looks like a hat, it's two birds with one stone, you know? This is like hair in the background-ish. This is kind of hair in the background-ish. That looks like a princess. Do I want the coat to be longer? I also need to incorporate the sprinkles a little better, I think. Find the color of those sprinkles. That's it. <laughs> that wasn't hard. So let's do next is find all the colors that we'll need. So we need like a white. Could probably use the paper, but let's just see if there's something we can use for shadows. Maybe something lighter than that. So this would be all the... Actually, that's a little too yellow, I think. That's too gray, though. I definitely want it to be a warmer white. Too dark. Oh, maybe it's gonna have to be kind of gray. I don't like that, though. It doesn't look like that. Maybe if we just go over the gray with the warm. But well, that's too... Mm -hmm. Maybe when everything else has color on it, it'll be fine. <laughs> maybe. Darker one. This is where the shaky hands are showing up. Okay. This looks like a worm. Get on that out with the lighter one. It's a little too exaggerated of a shadow, I think. But now I feel like this doesn't look so weird as a shadow on the white because we have something darker, so that actually does help. Okay, and then we need sprinkles. Ooh, I better put some light ones in there too. This is the right color though. It's not wrong. Oh yeah, you gotta have it overlap some of the red. I think that makes it really look right. Let's go over that with like a gray. I just wanna go around the outside edge though. Something instead of a liner. I was thinking it'd be like a shadow. <laughs> That's about right. Just add a little extra drip of the frosting. <laughs> and then some random sprinkles that kind of got onto the side. I might want to get another sprinkle color as well, just to add some variety. Because like some of them, they're more transparent. Even lighter than that. Oh yeah, that helps. This one actually looks different. Okay, mine has a little too many sprinkles. We're getting a little crazy, I need to back it off. Now what do I do with this character? Let's draw a little thumbnail version so we can throw the colors on. Got that scarf and that tailored waist. Pleats, stripes. I kind of want just the one stripe down the sleeve though. I feel like that just looks so fancy. And we have that like lighter, transparent dress and some boots. Okay. Then we can throw the colors on there. So we wanted that to be white. Start with a little shadows. Lay down the pleats. This also looks like it'll be the hair color. So maybe just throw that in too. Just thinking red for the scarf. We'll start with the light red. Um, the buttons I feel like should be green because they look like sprinkles to me. Oh, I meant to do that in the lighter, the lightest green. Oops. Also need some shadows with this. Now we have the coat being white and this being white, but that's gonna be more transparent. We also need some kind of skin tone. I feel like fruit pink usually works really well with this kind of color scheme. Okay, that's too close to the hair color. Oops, I throw in some blush that usually hides a lot of mistakes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, I didn't even use fruit pink. I used pastel peach. Ugh, that's not even what I wanted. Yikes. Yeah, we'll darken up the hair with this. Maybe it'll look blonde when we're done. Who knows? That was powder pink. I don't know what I'm grabbing at this point. Okay, it's okay. We've got room. We can do other things if this doesn't work. Do we need to add in these stripey guys? Let's just copy this one exact. So it's like a... And you just copy that. Mm, for the arms, I kind of just want that one stripe. I was thinking it would just follow this, but maybe that doesn't make any sense. Okay, we need to figure out the lapel. Let me just point at it so I don't forget. Although I don't know, I can't imagine I will. <laughs> that looks pretty bad. And then we need more green bits somewhere. I guess I could have made the scarf green. What if we like concentrate them near the bottom? Like it's some kind of embroidery. Probably do something at the end of these sleeves. Maybe the see-throughy bit of the skirt. And just add some. Okay, it's definitely got like the triangle of a tree. So there's that. 
Let me throw on a little line art, maybe. And the pleats that I love. It's kind of interesting with the like see-through bit. I don't know if I would like add line art to that. Decided this needs line art. It's just too blobby. I feel like it needs a little more shadow. That makes it like look heavier to me, giving it depth around the outside. Maybe I could soften this, like without getting rid of this harsh edge and soften that up. Ooh, okay, yeah, actually, that's right. Cause like this doesn't have any corners, right? Everything's soft. So if I get rid of those corners, I think I like that better. I do. Okay, so I look right. I feel like it needs more green. So what needs to ch we need to work on is this area. Don't like that. Let's do like a close up here. Just the head and the shoulders. I'm not sold on the scarf, but it does add to the big softness, which makes me think of a cake. Now this is what we're unsure of. So we've got like a torso, we've got arms. That we know. I want to keep the tree vibe, which would mean this shape. We could do just the one and then add in the triangles. We'll do all three instead of just two. Might make it look more like a tree. I think I want to start it a little higher. Maybe this way. It needs to come out a little further. Does that look like a tree? It does look like a tree. It's definitely a statement neckline. <laughs> Can't say I've seen it before or that it'll be flying off the shelves. Well, I don't know. Maybe if the freaking princess wears it, it might become a thing. And we get that tailored waistline. Hey, okay. But then what about scarf? We've got a lot of neck showing and that makes me cold. Although if we want this to sh I feel like we need to add this transparency up here. Maybe she has like a transparent turtleneck <laughs> and then this part's transparent and then this will be white so she's got like a white cuff around her neck and then it's like this transparent fabric and then there's a more opaque fabric over you know the vital areas she's the princess she's gotta have some modesty i don't want to start any scandals we could even have full sprinkle action up here probably eh I feel like that's it. It's got the tree. It's got the collar. I think that's it. Now we gotta draw another one over here then and color her. I was gonna color this one, but the neck's different. And why would I erase that when I could just draw it again? All right, let's get to it then. Little Princess Debbie. Christmas Princess Debbie. Start with her head. Uh, do we want to do any kind of interesting pose? I'm gonna try and draw a more interesting pose. I have a really big collar and that waistline. We need to have buttons, like so. We got that coat, this funky thing. Oh, can't really quite tell that that's a tree. I'd have to like change the shape. I don't know if bringing it down might help. A pointy toe. Oh, oh, so cute. And then we have to have that sort of billowy, marshmallow -y kind of dress poking at the bottom. Actually, I want to kind of change the leg. I didn't really draw it in. Three pointed. Another way. More like that. I'm not sure the right length of a boot yet, but I kind of want to work on the rest of this. I want the coat to open a little at the bottom. I'll give it some more volume too. Do with the arms. I feel like that makes sense, but then we also could like do something with one of the arms. So I don't know. It's pretty basic. I don't know. I don't know about that. All right, that's right. Let's do the same thing on this side. There we go. See how that looks much more full and tree-like? <laughs> Could even make that like fluffy stuff. Maybe like make the edges kind of fluffy so it's more like a fur texture. Bit of a tangent there, what do I do? Either bring her waist in or the collar out or both. And this is the shoulder. I want it there to be a little poof. It is a coat. It's not gonna be super tight fitting even if it's tailored. Probably a little bunching or pleating or something coming from there. Just touching her bum casually, as you do. <laughs> make sure they look like gloves. Maybe make it a ponytail. Half up, see do. Oh, no corners, no corners. No sharp edges. Eh? It's looking pretty good. This arm feels short. I don't know if I just need to like add a little bit of a bend in it maybe. 
Hmm, are we done? I mean, we have to figure out the pattern and everything. I'm thinking we'll have a smaller pattern on that and then a bigger pattern on this. Oh, we need the pleat. Can't forget my pleat. I wouldn't mind the gloves even being kind of transparent. I don't know what purpose they would serve. I feel like their warmth would be greatly diminished, but maybe they're for fashion. All right, I feel like it's color time. I'm kind of nervous. Oh, I wanted to look over this boot again. Does it make any sense? This is her hip. I liked the three buttons. Can I fit three buttons in here now that the lapel or this, I don't know what this is called. The collar is so long. I think it's gonna have to be two buttons. I need a different color for the hair because it is not the same color as the inside, which I feel like I should actually take a look at. Yes, we're very much off. This is much more of a yellow. So that's what I would like for our blonde. Well, that is such a bright perky yellow. Maybe it's a buttercup yellow. Maybe it's not. It's a little bit oranger than that. There we go. So that's the hair color. Should I go over everything a little bit with this? It'll be a little less pink. All right, we're going in with our hair color, which is the color of the cake. go over some of these areas a couple times to push them further back. What did I use for skin? I kind of changed my mind at some point. That was the blush. Let's try barely beige. I just want something kind of light and unobtrusive at the moment. Oh shoot, I should have erased some of that pink. It'll look way darker down there. Tea rose for some blush. Oh shoot, that is a little too bright. She's out in the cold, it's fine. Oh, I wanted the light green for the buttons. So I used dark green there and it's just not noticeable enough. I'll probably give her green eyes then. Ooh, that looks nice. Also, do I want to give her green gloves? That's another option. I was trying to keep everything pretty white just because there isn't that much green on here. So I don't want to go overboard on the green. Do you want to keep the green kind of subtle? For shadows on the coat here, I'm going to use warm gray zero. And we'll probably go over that with neutral gray as well. Go in that pleat. And then we'll go over that with neutral gray zero. Go outside the edges as well because it just kind of makes it look more warm to me. I don't know what the word is. It's more heavy when I add kind of shadows on the outside edge here. Yeah, it just looks more plush. That's probably the word, plush. Oh, and then this is what I used to color in all this. I'm going to definitely need to use some of the pink. I don't want it to be too pink. All right, it's coming together. I could do more blush now that we have other colors. All right, I think it's time for this. It doesn't matter if I'm scared, I gotta do it anyway. Here we go. Heading in the stripes. We're gonna start on this because this is the part that I'm the most nervous about. So if it sucks, I kinda wanna get it over with. Again, let's follow the shape of one of these. And that needs green dots. Now I'm gonna do the big ones on this dress. I'm going to follow the ones I drew because I actually kind of like those. Where's the dark red? This definitely needs some shadow. I think I decided these cuffs were red. So I guess we're not doing red gloves. I might keep the sleeves blanky blank. I know I really like that one red stripe, but I'm not sure it makes sense. I also think line art's going to make a pretty big difference. A lot of this is a little too stiff. Take a little bite of this, you know, we need a little inspiration. I've made it this far. <laughs> oh, 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 that was not made on earth. Over with some more of the neutral gray. I'm over top of the red. Let's see if that helps any. And then I think next would be line art. Tone down the pink on these boots. Luckily pink's okay because there's red in here. So it kind of, it's like a light red. Too dark. This is a little messy right there, but it's okay. I want to do line art, I think. Let me see if this guy's gonna work for me. Nope, you're a little patchy. I'd like a nice 0.5. Ooh, there we go. Let's start up at the eyes. Gotta draw the lines exactly. They look pretty good. I think I want a pupil. Hard to say. A little white gel pen might do the trick. We'll get back to it. All right, we already ruined it. Woo! Can't make it worse, can we? Oh yeah, hold my pencil. <laughs> no hard edges here. Yeah, I really don't like those eyes. Oop, too big. Good grief. Oh, 
We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. It's gonna be fine. Lost the waist and all this marker. Shoulder here, which comes down like this. Over this edge as well. This edge as well. Hey. Definitely need some stripes on the arms. The arms are too blank. I think I want this though with the one stripe. So we're just gonna follow along the top edge here where it would end up. I feel like that gives it sort of a military vibe. I don't know if that actually makes sense. Beautiful. Do this hand. Shadow around the hands. Does it look transparent at all? All right, I'm gonna fix these eyeballs. Maybe bigger pupils. All right, that's not too bad. Oh, and I wanted to have sprinkles. I think we need them at least along the bottom edge. I don't think I want to just sporadically spread them like that. Like I did that here, obviously. <laughs> Which I need to add some of the dark ones. But like that's a smaller element of the design. Whereas I feel like the coat, it should be more meaningful. She's a princess, you know? I'm gonna try and just keep them concentrated near the bottom. And we'll put them on the cuffs as well. Switch to a darker one, then we have some variety. I kind of just want to clean up these edges. I think the weakest part is still this collar, but I don't know what I would do differently. Kind of the way it is. It's the way the cake crumbled. I also wish I'd kept the skirt a little longer. While that's drying, I'm just gonna doodle over here. Happy version. Here we go. How's this? I've been real flowy and exaggerated with the shapes and we're seeing what happens. This is usually a good way to find some new thing, new ideas if you're stuck. Little button. Oh, I wanted this to be longer. So let's shorten that. Not longer, just more visible. Am I done? What happened? How did we get here? <laughs> Time kind of flew. Yeah, I really like the longer dress a lot more. A lot more. Glad I did that. Let's do some snowflakes. I kind of wanted a little shadow to the hair. That's better. That's better. I think that does it. Oh my gosh. I feel so out of practice and like kind of out of the zone. <sighs> but it was a good day. Finally did something that I've been sitting around forever. And I think she turned out really, really cute. Like honestly, this is one of my favorite sketches of the day and it was like the first one. So not sure how I feel about that. But I do want to thank you guys for coming along with me as I designed a princessy character based off of these Christmas tree cakes. I hope you're all having an amazing week and uh, have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye!